Hi guys, this is Carmen Chen from Centimeter. Uh, so recently I received several emails to ask me like some questions that I would want to hear and then I selected one of the questions that actually uh, many of my customers also asked me before. So the question is how many goods I need to order to fit into one container? It's a kind of like a common question but actually it included a lot of things. Um, so here today I would like to talk about like two different ways of shipping. This one is full FCL, it's full container loading. LCL is another way, is less container uh, loading. It means you don't have to really to order a lot of goods to fit into one container. And if you say one container is very randomly because container we have mainly three kinds. One is 20 feet, one is 40 feet, and another one is 40 HQ, the high Q. And of course, there is a 45 feet uh, or 45 high Q that we'll be talking about. This kind of container is not too many boat company have. Mainly we know it's MSK, they have the 45 feet. And most of the container, the common container size is 20 feet, 40 feet, and 40 HQ. So, um, we talk about like the full container load and less container load. So there is two different way. Uh, let's talk about the first way is like the full container load. Um, so you will, like for example, you want to order uh, many goods to fit into one container. And uh, for, for example, like uh, 20 feet. Um, if your order is not enough to fit into one container, what were you going to do? So first of all, um, I would like to tell you the size of the different of the container of 20 feet and 40 feet and 40 high Q. And then you have the idea that how big or how is the size, how many CBM that you can fit into one container. So here everybody can see this is like a 20 feet. Uh, let me see, it's a 20 feet container. Um, so you can see the white is 2.35 meter. So everything I talk about is the inner size, like inside the container, the size. Because this is how we care about like how many goods we can fit into one container. So the white is 2.35 meter and the high is 2.39. The long is, uh, the length is 6 meter. So this is a 20 feet container. And this is the size of a 20 feet container and normally Normally, it can fit 33 CBM. This is like we calculate that if we put everything inside and there is no even one spaces in the container can fit 30, 33. But normally, because now the goods, normally we have cartons box and then we cannot make sure that we can fit everything into one container. So normally we will fit into 28 to 30 cbm of the goods normally and 33 is when you have like all get all the spaces but as you know sometimes we have pilot we have the carton boxes so we cannot make sure it's like a 100 percent uh, to fit into the container so this is the 20 feet container so what the difference between the 20 feet and the 40 feet is the lens so the 40 feet is like double of the container and the wide and the height is the same so it's one more so a 40 feet is like another six meters more so a 40 feet totally is a 12 uh, meter so it's a 12 meter uh, lens but the other um, the other data is the same so this is like a 40 feet container Normally a 40 feet container can fit in 68 CBM when it's like 100% goods fit inside but of course you have the cotton box, you have the pilot ties you cannot 100% fit into one container so normally the, the, the goods can fit into a 40 feet container is like um, 48 to 63 CBM it's the, the, the reason why I talk about like 48 to 63 it depends on how 
many spaces that we have to waste in the container. And then there is a not, this is like very, very um, regular size of the container. So what is the 40 high Q? 40 high Q, we call it 40, 40 HQ. So this container, it means like it's taller. So the tall is not 2.39. The tall, let me use the red color. So the tall here, this part will be higher. So the tall for 40 feet of the container will be 2.7 meter. So this is the this is the difference of the the 40 high Q and the 40 feet container. So with the 40 high Q, of course, it's taller. So if you have the goods that like a big machine is like a more than 2.4 meter. So mainly you need to choose the um, 40 HQ container, and normally it can fit. 76 cbm if you are 100 percent fit into one container but uh, as you know it's not all the time perfect fit so uh, 40 hq can run about fit into 68 68 to uh, 72 cbm so now as you already have the picture about like uh, how big, how the capacity of the 20 feet and 40 feet and 40 HQ container, how many CBM of goods can fit in. And just remember like um, as I, I, I explained, sometimes if you really want to fit 100% that your goods normally cannot pack into cotton box. And this will face a problem, it's difficult to load the goods and unload the goods to upload the goods or unload the goods because you cannot use any machine and you can only use the main power to bring the goods low into the container and low out of the container so you also need to think about the cost as well so in the standard way normally the goods will pack into the carton box or in pilot in, for the pilot is the most easiest way for the loading um, so you need to consider both sides that uh, how many goods you have to fit into the container and how much money you want to spend for to save the shipping cost or to save the main power on the destination country. Uh, here comes the question. Some of you maybe didn't have like a bigger quantity of order or you are like normally the e-commerce sellers or Amazon sellers, they don't have like uh, the, the sales. So like a big huge sales like uh, can fit into one full container so then we have the solution of the consolidation and there are two kind of different consolidation one is for the customer yourself to to order from different factory for example you order from seven or eight factories with different products and then we help you to consolidate all the suppliers goods together into our logistic warehouse and we will load everything in the same time for you and this is one way a second way is you only have for example you only have 10 cbm of goods and we help you to consolidate with the other customer or the other company's goods together and ship it and this is what we call it lcl shipping with the LCL shipping, you don't need to worry about um, how many goods you can fit into one container. Um, also, for the shipping cost, it's not so much different. Of course, when you can combine all your goods together into one container, it can, it can save you uh, like a 10% of the cost. Then you ship by LCL. But by LCL, it's also very convenient for you because then you don't need to consider how many, like you need to invest a lot of money in case you will maybe face more risk for the investment of your business. So after we talk about the general container, the, the, the size and then how many capacity that they can fit with the goods. Maybe guys, you should know like uh, for container, we have the general cargo container and we also have the dangerous, like the DG container, which is mainly for battery, like scooters or like electronic, pro the other electronic products. And we also have the frozen container, which is like for frozen seafood or some food 
uh, or meat, this kind of things. So it's different kind of uh, container with different kind of uh, uh, commodities. What we talk about is when you decided to consolidate the goods together by your own side. For example, you have seven or six, seven, eight suppliers and then they have different kind of uh, uh, products. But if you want to combine them together, please make sure that the products are all the same, uh, like general cargo or battery cargo or the frozen products. You're not going to consolidate with like a electric uh, electric scooter uh, with the um, like a chairs that this cannot consolidate together because one is content with battery one is uh, considering as a general cargo so this one this point is very important that you guys really need to pay attention because now battery product as many accidents already happened before, as you guys see in the news, uh, different kind of uh, boats like explode, get explosion on the sea in the middle of the shipping because of the battery products. So it's very important to separate the different products, especially the batteries. And when you buy from the supplier, you also need to make sure the supplier have all the certification. Uh, the, the supplier that which with the electronic products, they have all the certification for shipping. Otherwise, you cannot buy from this supplier because it will, it will cause you a lot of trouble. Uh, I remember last year, I have one customer that he was not aware of this different cargo. He have like uh, 15 uh, suppliers, the goods to combine together into one 40 feet container and ship from Ningbo. But then with the packing list, he didn't show me anything related to battery until uh, I double check uh, with the customer if you have any battery inside. And then finally, also the customer was not sure which product have battery, which product didn't have battery. After he double check and he come back to me, oh, there is one supply have a battery. And this supply already sending the goods to the warehouse. So this is not, uh, if we know, we are aware with, with all the knowledge, I think this can avoid a situation like this happen. When you purchase the products, please separate different products. You, you need to separate for shipping. And especially when you buy from the suppliers that have the, bad, the electric, electronic products, please make sure they have all the certification like MSDS and, all, and the shipping safety certificate for the battery to, to, to for international shipping. This is a very important point. So after all, I hope today the topic is uh, help you to solve the problem or uh, to answer your questions. And I hope it's, uh, it's useful for you. So anyway, you don't really need to worry about how many goods you need to order to fit into one container because you have the consolidation way which is LCL for shipping and we also have different other like FBA shipping for Amazon sellers I will talk about uh, this in the future in the further videos but then just just want to 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 make you know that you don't have to order you don't have to order a lot of goods to fit into one container and also when you try to purchase from your supplier want to purchase to do your business you need to you need to considering uh, different kind of uh, uh, products because they need to ship in different way for example the general cargo the battery the the liquid the food all all different kind of uh, uh, commodities you need to separate with different way of shipping so yeah this is what today will talk and then I hope it's helpful for you and if you really like my video if you really like my channel please uh, subscribe me and this is Kamen Chen I hope to see you next time bye bye